Hello, I'm Suzanne Tuline, brand elevation enthusiast, international speaker, and author of Brand DNA. Welcome to Your Brand Is Your Business, an introductory session into fully understanding the power of internal brand development in your business. Did you know businesses spend over $165 billion in marketing and advertising each year? To solidify this point further, here's an interesting statistic. It's estimated that 40% of your company's marketing dollars are actually due to demotivated, ill-informed staff undermining the promotional promise. Think about what 40% of $165 billion is. That's $66 billion annually that gets poured down the drain every year. Too many businesses believe that because they have a marketing plan and are implementing marketing campaigns to varying degrees, that they are fulfilling the function of branding. I'm here today to expose why this belief is costing small to mid-sized businesses unnecessary capital and stagnating their business growth. So, short of making our customers buy from us, what can we do? Pour more money into our marketing efforts? Lure them in with more discounts? Nope, that's old school, doesn't work anymore, and certainly doesn't serve the business owner. To become the go-to brand in your industry and gain market share, you have to out-behave your competitors by capitalizing on how your customers perceive your unique brand experience. So by simply understanding your brand's DNA and determining where you can capitalize on what makes you different, you can begin designing actions and behaviors that showcase the unique value you bring to the table at every customer touchpoint. And how do we create brand congruent experiences? By first understanding what a brand is and is not. Let's first get on the same page in understanding what a brand is. Your brand is a perception that lives in the minds of your employees and your market. Your logo, in contrast, is not the brand itself, but rather an iconic symbol that represents the perception. So the question remains, what is the logo representing? The answer is all the attributes, the DNA makeup of your brand. The perception is based on emotion and defined by your customer's experience with you, your products and services. So how do we control perception? Well, we can control it by understanding how perception is processed by us and our customers. How do we as humans perceive? Through all of our senses. That's how we collect information and then categorize, process, and form the opinions in our brains which create an emotional response and preferably a buying decision. So why does branding matter? Well, I have good news and bad news. The good news is you already have a brand. The bad news is you already have a brand. The real question is, is do you have control of it? If you don't, then it's probably bad news. Here's why. The problem arises when there's no real formal identifying plus defining of what your brand is or should be. How can we have control over something you haven't defined or identified? This usually results in having more than one set of perceptions going on. The internal, you and your employees, and the external, your prospects, customers, and vendors. Well, oftentimes the internal perceptions are quite different than the external perceptions. Sometimes that's a good thing, right? But the key is, is to get them more congruent as much as possible and control, manage, and elevate the overall consistency in how your collective brand is perceived. This is what we call brand management. And is when we begin to consciously and strategically identify, define, and control perceptions, aligning our internal perceptions with what our external market experience is. Now we get to the heart of the matter. Marketing and branding are the same thing. This is a prevailing misconception in business today, as they are often used interchangeably. These are two important but absolutely separate functions that we need to understand in order to fully leverage our position. Marketing is the process of communicating and spreading the message. In terms of this tree graphic, it acts as all the external leaves communicating the brand message through creative vehicles that you use to expose your business offerings, such as advertising and promotional campaigns, your signage, your brochures, your website, trade shows, etc. So if marketing is the communication of the message, then branding is the process of identifying and defining the perception the message and experience should create. So this process starts deep at the internal level of your business with a clear understanding of what your brand stands for, your unique brand DNA. 
These attributes include your brand values and style, the culture you create that represents those values, your customer relationship practices, hiring practices, the sensory experiences you create and deliver through your consistent systems and processes, and your brand promise. So by now, we're sure you're wondering how your company can truly maximize both marketing and branding efforts. Well, it's very simple. By ensuring that the two match one another, showing up as you say you are, this is called brand management and will unequivocally help build trust around what your brand stands for. Think about how much you're spending in marketing your brand when you may not have even consciously defined it yet. This compelling statement from the authors of The Experience Economy hits the nail on the head. It says, in the absence of a distinctive brand experience, price becomes the default in your customer's purchase decision. So think about this. Not every coffee shop can command $5 for a cup of coffee and stay in business if they don't deliver the experience that matches the perceived value for the price. Although there have been many Starbucks imitators following that trend, the style, the experience of their brand, many have not been able to really capture the true brand essence consistently and sustain it long term because they have not done the internal work to define, create, and build it through every single touch point. That's the secret of building your brand from the inside out. So the first step is to stop marketing for now. Go internal with your employee team, identify your unique brand attributes, define them and ensure all employees become aware of them. Then build the customer experiences that are aligned with your values, your brand style, your standards and your promise. Then and only then communicate, market and deliver. So big benefits occur when you consciously, strategically, and deliberately develop your brand's DNA because brand clarity helps you enlist, equip, plus engage your employees to live the brand's DNA. It lets you have complete clarity in your marketing message, capitalize on the power of your brand promise, leverage your authentic differentiators for competitive advantage, and supplement your strategic growth plan from the inside out. Even market according to your unique brand style. Utilize your unique brand vocabulary and build behaviors that fully support the messaging that equals better customer service. Increase your ROI on marketing investments, right? Turn customer loyalty into advocacy and receive more referrals and testimonials, just to name a few. So building your brand's DNA can be a fun, highly collaborative initiative for you and your team and will help you uncover your brand position, gain competitive advantage, and walk your talk. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you on our business Facebook page and our website. And remember, your brand is your business.